Everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno. This will be my first figure review in a long while. It's going to be the McFarlane Color Tops Walking Dead Negan figure. Yes! Ooh! Hotly, hotly anticipated. Oh! So happy to finally have a Negan figure. I mean, I got the pop. It's cool. But it's the actual fucking figure. And that 3-0 one that's coming? Ooh! Ooh! Can't wait to get that shit. <laughs> but... Yeah, just uh, I covered this in my haul video, but just in case you guys didn't watch that, if you're just running looking for a Negan review, they have completely changed the packaging for the Color Tops figures. Just for comparison, here is a Carl Grimes box, previous figure in this series. Completely, completely different. See the designs and everything. They dropped the coloring. Just, I like this a lot better. This is more simplistic, fits the um, themes that they do way better, and it doesn't look like that. I, I don't like the color idea of the, the waves. Still got the color tops name on the back, but yeah, it's still numbered too, so that's, that's interesting. But yeah, uh, as you see, there's only one accessory that I left inside there, which is a little extra hand. I honestly don't see the need for that, um, which I'll just go ahead and talk about accessories now. So let's get the hand in there. So like I said, didn't even remove it. And the other key one that he comes with is Lucille. And I'm not going to remove it from his hand, which <laughs> I guess because it's a pain in the ass to get inside of his hand. Like, oh my god, it is... You basically have to... Thank god this is really flexible rubber, otherwise you would snap Lucille in half. It's... it's ugh. So frustrating getting that inside there. It really is. But the detail on it is very nice, as you can see right there. Oh, this this figure. There's so many more things it could have came with. Ugh. Oh, like, for starters, like, Rick's hatchet. I mean, that would have made this hand make more sense if it came with Rick's hatchet, but it doesn't. We need Rick's hatchet, damn it. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, hair shit. Fucking, oh. I love, 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 love Negan so much. Um, what's really unique about this figure, unlike the previous Color Toss figures, there's actual fucking articulation. <laughs> Holy shit, like, there is standard articulation on this. It's, it's, it's nuts. It's still not enough, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And that's great. I mean, it's it's not enough to where you keep, like you're limited on what you can do with this. Pretty much, the poses that you want to do, you pretty much can't. You're gonna have to settle with a pose because like you can't even get him really resting loose still on his shoulder. It's just gonna be up in the air like that, like he's swinging it. I wish it could be flush. Oh God, you could if you trick it if you bent the bat, but I don't feel like doing that. So. I just take the back of there sure, for autofocus reasons. Ugh. Yeah, this uh pisses me off so much. They're, they're, they're getting there. They're almost there, but mm. like I said, uh, the color tops line I don't buy for their articulation. I buy because they look good, and you know, the, so far the poses that they've been in static wise have been really fucking good. So I'm okay with that. I love that at least with Negan, we can you know personalize it a little bit. But I can't help but feel like I wish this was a full-fledged action figure. Just because there's so many poses I want to put fucking Negan in. Like, ugh. Damn it. Why does McFarlane have to be such a fucking hater of articulation? That's just, like, actual Tom McFarlane himself hates articulation. Like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> ugh. But yeah, this, ugh. So this, it looks really great, but like I said, the posing is just mm, leaves a lot to be desired. So if that's your biggest um, apprehension for the Claw Tops line, you're still gonna have it here, and that's <laughs> that's gonna be the big sticking point. Can you deal with this one's articulation? And like I said, this is a step in the right direction. Two steps in the right direction, honestly, compared to the statue that was Rick. But, it, still not enough to satisfy articulation, articulation junkies. 
but it's it's enough for me. It's because mainly because it's Negan. I love these you know, the the color tops line because like, so, so far they've been in poses that I care about. But I can't help but wonder what NECA would fucking do if they had <laughs> the slice. Ah, oh, especially this is the same scale now. I mean, just like what NECA can do in this scale for this exact same price point. I mean, mm, <sighs> damn it. It's just, damn it. But, you know, I'll take what we got. And it's it's pretty good. Like I said, I wish he came with a few more accessories. Like, namely, Rick's hatchet, maybe a handgun, something along those lines. There's so many things, like the iron, fuck, I mean, shh. Ugh. Of course, I think this was in production before the iron was introduced to the show. Still, they knew about it, because fucking comics, like, ugh. <laughs> so many different accessories. So maybe if they ever revisit uh, this color tops line and do like NECA did and do the Ultimates version where they have you know full fledged articulation, maybe he'll come with a shit ton of accessories like NECA does with their Ultimates. Who knows? Maybe that's McFarlane's plan, but um, I doubtful because you know he hates articulation. But <laughs> hey, I'm surprised we got this much of this guy. Honestly, Ugh, it's 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 almost. Almost enough, but he's missing about five points to make it great. So yeah, it's, like I wish he actually had actual hip articulation. That would make walking poses a lot better. I wish he had double jointed elbows, or at least had a little bit of a cut so you could get the bat flush. And you know, like, you know I wish he like you spread the legs out, get like a good swingy pose, maybe a little ab crunch, like make the jacket rubber like Neca does instead of one big solid piece. So we get an ab crunch in there, so we get like some good, good swinging poses. But as is, like this looks fucking menacing. That's Negan. That's awesome. <laughs> I really, really like this figure. Just, I'm excited talking about it. But I just can't help but wonder what Neca would do. God. Like, at least we got the three zero coming because we know the three zero ones are really, really good. I don't think I ever reviewed the three zero Rick, but. Yeah, it's, that's definitely a really good figure. Lightness, eh, but it's definitely really good. Uh, so yeah, this... This Negan's so good. So good. It's, it's definitely the best in the Color Tops line, honestly. Between like all the ones that I have, you know, from Gears, from Walking Dead, even the Titanfall ones. This is definitely the best Color Tops figure that they've made so far. And I hope... It just keeps evolving, and you just like on the five inch line. This is basically like wave three articulation for the five inch line, I would say. So maybe in the next wave of the color tops, we can get better articulation because it's it's definitely getting there. Like this wrist articulation is like really fucking good. Like that's that's a really good range right there. It's just on a ball joint, but like that that's really really good. And I wish. The rest of the body was like that. Like, so this does it for me. But I, for, I have to be honest in our view, and I say that it is lacking in articulation. That is for damn sure. Uh, yeah, this, oh. It looks great. That is, it looks great. That's the whole thing with the color tops. They look great. Just no articulation. <laughs> so, pretty much, this just continues that trend. If you didn't like any of those other color tops figures because of the new articulation, this isn't going to sway you because you can't really get too many good poses out of this guy. You know, it's nowhere near as possible like as a Marvel Legend or a Mezco figure or even Hot Toys. Like, <laughs> Hot Toys <laughs> Xeno Warrior is more poseable than this guy. But, you can get enough out of it where you can find one that'll be satisfying to leave on your shelf. It's like his static pose outside the box. It's, just, it's like a T-pose. You can kind of see it inside there in the box, which that's not exciting. But, thank God, he has enough articulation where you can actually do that. Because the, the rest of the Color Tops figures, they all have pretty good poses. Honestly, they, they really do. So Abraham's a little generic, but the rest of them are pretty good. This, this definitely is a step in the right direction, and so glad... <laughs> they made a Negan so early. Because, like, there's so many other characters they could have made. And, you know, gave it a popular demand. But I'm glad we got Negan. Because, fuck, I love Negan. Negan is 7 inch scale. I wish he was more, a little more articulated so I could pose with some more NECA figures and everything like that. But, this will work. This will work. This will do. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad we got it. <laughs>
Anyways, that's going to be it for this review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if you um, saw this figure yet. You know, if you see it swing with the pegs in your local Toys R Us or whatever. Like I said, I, if you've watched the haul video, I've pretty much found full case. There's like seven or eight there. So that'd probably be eight for a full case. But yeah, it's, I got to pick, you know, got my pick of the litter, got the one with the best paint, so, woo, so excited about that. But yeah, this, you definitely needed to pick through, because some of the paint was a little wacky. Just not, it was a little wacky. <laughs> like, uh, there's one where he had, like, looked like he had, like, a weird Widow's Peak, like a reverse Widow's Peak, where the skin was going up, like, the middle was, yeah, it's not good. And, like, one, the beard was kind of missed over to the left a little bit, but other than that, it's... What I have in hand is really, really good, visual-wise. Articulation-wise, it leaves a lot to be desired. So, like like I said, if you can't stand the color tops line because of lack of articulation, then, well, you're shit out of luck here. Like I said, it's just two steps in the right direction, but still a long ways to go. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.